Hey guys, what's up? It's Maglo for 76. I'm here today with my very first gaming challenge. It's Maglo, Mags, your good buddy Maggie. Not that uh, anybody calls me that. <laughs> so today we are doing my very first gaming challenge, and it is something I like to call the Switch Handed Challenge. So we all know how the Nintendo Switch works. You have your con, you have the main screen console thingy, and then you got the right Joy-Con and the left Joy-Con. If you play with the Joy-Cons attached, the right one naturally goes in your right hand, and that controls the actions such as jumping, hat throwing, uh, diving, butt stomping, etc. Just as an example for the game Super Mario Odyssey. Um, but the left Joy-Con controls navigation and stuff. So what I'm going to be doing for the Switch Handed Challenge today is I am going to uh, take the right Joy-Con and hold it in my left hand and the left Joy-Con and hold it in my right hand. This, uh, as you can imagine, will make it very very disorienting, but I think it'll be something fun to watch and to play. Um, it will probably also be very rage-inducing, <laughs> but um, I'll try not to let it get the best of me. So we're going, we're just going to start here in the top hat tower, just as a just as a starter thing. It's the very start of the. It's the first thing you do when you get to the level when you start the game. So I thought it'd be an appropriate place to start. So up to this point, I've been playing like normal. Um, now I'm going to switch and play. Oh boy, this already feels very disorienting. <laughs> okay, don't fall asleep on me, Mario. No, wrong button. Okay, let's see. So we just, uh... Just give me those coins. Give me those coins. Not that I need them. Okay, this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, no, wrong one. Don't, we're not changing the direction. That's very disor- that, 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 that's very bad. Uh, I'm gonna end up clicking the... Um, I'm gonna end up clicking or flicking the right, the left, the right stick on the. Oh, right now I'm confused. So the right, the stick on the right on what should be the right Joy-Con to try and move. And when in fact, I'll just uh, change the. Well, I'll just change the camera angle, and that will be very bad when I'm trying to buy a bunch of Goombas like this. What even are these things? They're like little yellow Goombas. Who's ever heard of a yellow Goomba? Eh. There we go. Shaking is much better, much easier. Shake. Ha! We made it to the top, and I totally forgot that this was here, but this will be very helpful for some of the things I have planned. Yeah, we got our multi moon. Yeah, jump. No. No. Oh. Okay, I'm even having trouble walking outdoors. That is not good. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's just go see Captain Toad at the top. Just real quick. Yeah. Ma. Wahoo. Aw. Oh, hello, Koopa Free Runners. No, I don't want to race today. Do, 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 do. I know this is very, very exciting. Just jumping up the tower. Hello, Captain Toad. The moon is so pretty. Uh, I gotta I gotta admit, I always loved Captain Toad, all the games and stuff. Um, he, when he first showed up in Super Mario 3D World, I was very excited to actually... Or when he first showed up as a playable character in Super Mario 3D World, I was so excited to be able to actually play as him, because I always loved him in the Super Mario Galaxy series. Even though he was a coward, he was always good to his crew, and yeah. So, uh, we're going now, after that uh, brief introduction, uh, we are going to the Sand Kingdom, and we're going to do Koopa Free Running. So, let's see how this goes. Um, on the list, I, I have a small list here of various challenges I'm going to do today. I've got a list of five. That was the first, and I'm going to do the others. Um, and for those of you who may ask, I'm not going to do Luigi's Balloon World. That will actually probably be something for another video. And uh, oh, and if you thought we were just going to take the easy route and walk, no, we're going to uh, go the whole disoriented route through the ruins, and let's just have fun and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Wow! Just leap right over their heads. I find it funny that they're wearing hats, but it's like a one-hit defense from the Super Mario from Super Mario Body Snatchers. That's a nickname a friend of mine made up for the game, or for yeah, the game Super Mario Body Snatchers. Highly amusing. I can be honest, I've never hit all these cactus cacti. Oh, it's just. 
Hey, what do you know? <laughs> that, uh, that really surprised me. Um, I, I think we've gone through the rooms enough. Let's see if, oh dear. No, throw the hat, no, stop. Thank heavens for these alcoves. Let's just find our way there. I really hope we don't fall into the abyss. That would not be fun. Okay, I just love these sheep. Just hit them and they go flying. <laughs> bye bye sheep. And if you actually, if you wait a minute, they uh, respawn, which is pretty entertaining, if you ask me. I don't. I think it's kind of hard to get up close and touch one because they're so skittish. Roll, roll, roll. All right. Um, if I remember correctly, there's like a bit of a jump here. Uh, yeah, we made it. Booyah. And I gotta be honest with you, I didn't know that's how it worked for a while. Those mounds. Oh, right. Down here, not on the building. Yeah, I can't talk. There we go. Okay. We're in the we're in the roving racers. Yeah, let's go. Cooper free running, baby. Let's do this. Oh dear. I must say, um, it's gonna get a little trickier later when I do uh I'm going to do another Koopa Free running later, and uh, that will be a little bit trickier than this one, because this one you can fall into the abyss. So, I haven't actually tested, but I should see which one is... Oh no, wrong way! Oh no, wait, this is the right way. So just the camera that way. Um, I haven't actually tested which route is the fastest. This one definitely starts, seems to see... Uh, this one definitely seems the slowest, um, because it drops you into fifth place but then like once you get to this pillar if you're really fast about it you can actually jump to first place very fast so we're just gonna start around go go no oh no i can't no forget it no second place no the gold koopa the golden koopa he has beaten me no 39 seconds flat that's that's pretty good Close. Close is not enough. We will play this until we can... Yeah, we got this. Positive attitude. I can and I will beat this Koopa in racing. Yeah. We got this. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Let's do this. You know what? I'm gonna take this route this time. This route he takes. Yahoo! Go, Jaxie, go. No, don't break. Let's go, Jaxie. Let's go. Man, it's like everyone's taking this path. I find it interesting how they, uh, they like sparking shells. So it looks like my route may be faster. Okay. I'm gonna ride through town. Clear! Oh no! That's what I was afraid of! No! No! The ice! It hurts! It stings! Uh, that was somehow worse than last time. Okay. We're gonna go back to the power lines. I always found it funny how the, how Mario could just travel along the power lines. Honestly, the whole capture feature is really cool, but I, I don't understand how it works. I, it's, I feel like I just want some sort of Biology, maybe? Is that the right word? Yeah, some sort of like biology thingy on it. What surprises me is that Blue Koopa goes this way, but he ends up in like fourth place. Oh, because he goes that way. We go up. Right, I think going up is faster because going to the right will take you to the Moai habitat. Or something. Yeah, starting out in fifth May, like. Oh no! Oh. Right. Oh, that's why Green Koopa takes so long. He gets off here and then runs through the ruins. It'd be very funny to see a uh, Koopa just like fall, I think, but I really like Koopas. They're one of my favorite Nintendo species. Well, um, I can guarantee you that there is no way. Um, um, do we want to retry? No, let's just do the sport and the place. Yeah! Hooray! Ah. I see the 
sun rising. Well. That was... Aw, oh, too bad. But I'm a hook. I like the little floating screen with the crown. It's just a cute little thing. Oh, and there's the Sphinx. I find the Sphinx's questions pretty cool, if you ask me, but... Yeah, shaking is the way to go. Of course, not all the time, because then you might uh, accidentally grab some coins that are on your room. This time, let's not fall fall from great height off the pyramid. Yeah, let's go Mario. Way to go Mario! Let's go. Where is he? Where's the gold Koopa? I don't see him. I think I may beat him. Quite no, come on. Come on. Where's- No! The cactus! <gasps> no! Less than a second! It must have been less than a second. Oh no. <sighs> okay. Let's do this one more time. I know we can do it. Yeah, we got this. Positive attitude. Yeah. Okay, this is like my fifth attempt at this. Isn't it? There was the one where we came in second, and then the one where we came in fifth. And the one where we took the Jaxi, so this is actually my fourth attempt. So. Yahoo! Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna be a bad sport and retry. Because this is taking way too long! Oh, Mario's just shivering. That's kinda weird, I didn't notice that before. Shake the Joy-Cons. Just behind this guy. Yeah. Let's do this. The gaping hole. I actually am hoping as a part of another as a thing for another part of the video, or another part of my channel, I'm hoping to do Tostarana Ruins with lyrics. I think you guys will really like that. Um, so, for those of you who love the mystic music of Tostarana, which I know I do, um, you'll enjoy that very much. Yeah, we got first place, baby! Now that's cool, he comes, shoots, just shoots right in, riding the Jaxi. Alright, Koopa free running in the Sand Kingdom, done! Now then, where are we going next? According to my chart, or my list, we are going to the Odyssey. Then, from the Odyssey, then we take the Odyssey to... Where are we going? Let's find out. We go to the Metro Kingdom! Now, I wonder what you get. I wonder where... I wonder... Just take a guess, people. If the comments are on, which they probably will be, comment below and see what you think, what challenges you think I'll be doing, and or at least try and guess the, the remaining ki two kingdoms after this. All right, here's our hero. Yeah. So we could be doing anything here, folks. We could be doing the jump rope challenge. We could be do. We could be rearranging letters. We could be doing glitches. We could be halting random bits of traffic. We could be going to the movies. We could be going through New Donks City Festival. We could be doing anything. But today, we are doing the RC car races. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, if you've ever done the RC car challenge, you, you'll know why I am so nervous for this. Oh, man. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Body snatching this guy. I don't even remember what the controls are. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this game is- this- this mode is already so hard that- Oh no, no, turn, turn. This mode is already so stinking hard that it is like- I don't even know. I really can't describe the pain you experience when we're, we're doing these races. I mean, honestly, this one's- the other one outside is also pretty hard because there's some serious sharp turns. Ah, no, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, no. Come on, car. You can do it. Yeah. 
36 seconds. It's funny, so one of them gets, well, you get one of them for getting certain, you get two for getting certain amount of times. But then this guy over here says, uh, oh, wait a minute. Well, there was a guy who said, like, it's, there's no way it's possible to get 21 seconds. Maybe I'm thinking of something else, but I, I seriously agree with him that it is, there is no way one can get 21 seconds on this. But for now, I'd just be content with getting a power moon. Okay, not as bad as I, the first run. That poor RC car, it's gonna be all banged up. It is kind of cool how it's like a little, what's the word, homage to Mario Kart. Or reference to Mario Kart with it, with the music and the racing. Yeah, okay, this isn't that bad. Just a few bumpy walls. Beep beep. Yeah, we got it. That was relatively quick. Um, that was much better than last time. Um, yeah, I... <laughs> Alright, that's it. RC car challenge done. Now then, um, that was a lot shorter than I anticipated. But, hey, it works. We don't want this video to go too terribly long. Alright, so, um, I'm gonna do some more Koopa free running actually, now. Um, let's head over to the Luncheon Kingdom. Yeah, now you may understand what I meant when I said that this one will be harder than the um, Sand Kingdom, because here you got lava everywhere. In fact, you know what? Maybe it would be better to go to Bowser's Kingdom, because hmm. you know what? Here, I'm gonna go to a random. I have a this handy randomizer app, and we're gonna flip a coin. Heads, we go to luncheon. Tails, we go to Bowser's Kingdom. Let's see. And we got heads. Okay, we're staying here. I honestly didn't really want to stay here, but uh, you know what? What the heck? It's my channel. We're gonna do what I'm gonna do. What I want. And what I want right now is just is I severely want to get off that raging, burning lava. All right, coins don't fill your health. This is not Mario Galaxy. Mario Galaxy was such a great game. I think this is a truly a worthy successor to every... Uh, oops. I think this is truly a worthy successor to every 3D Mario game there is. Um, well, I mean, at least all the ones that it was based off of. Um, what, what was... Let's see, there was 64, which this one is really... Um, I really like... I really liked 64, I actually beat 64 DS at 100%, which is arguably harder, because there are 30 more stars, and on top of that, you got the mini games, and you gotta catch the rabbits everywhere, I, um, and there was also Sunshine, I beat Sunshine at 100%, uh, or not 100%, I beat the final boss, but then something happened to the save state or something weird like that, and I no longer can, uh, I'm just down to like 14 stars after beating the final boss, so that's really frustrating. Um, where are you, Koopa Free Running? Oh no, we gotta go all the way there. Oh wait, yes, shortcut. Shortcuts are your friends. Shortcuts are your friends. And I think this thing was a good, uh, this was also a very good successor of the Mario Galaxy games, which were a lot of fun. I don't see a lot of 3D land elements, but there was a good reference with the uh, tail branch thingy, I honestly don't remember the name. It was a, That was a good reference with the tail tree, that's what it was. And here we go, we're gonna be doing some Koopa free running racing in Bowser's Kingdom. Let's go! Got it? Then let's go. Yeah, we got this! Let's go. Let's go! I like to think I'm good at imitations, but my voice isn't my voice is feeling a little shaky today for some reason, so I'm not doing too good. Let's roll. Yahoo. Oh no, I can't see where I'm going. Ah! Oh dear. Oh yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Oh no. I can't see. Yeah, we got this. Oh dear, it's behaving very erratically. Oh, no, what did I do? I think I just took a picture. Or something. 
Yeah, let's go. Just one power line to the next. I thought it was very, uh, these ones are very, strike me as very odd because there's no like physical power line. Okay, which way do we, this, oh, this way, right? Yeah, I'm getting pretty good at this, if I do say so myself. Let's go. Shaking the Joy-Con. Wait. Is the pipe an option? No, probably not. I probably would have blocked it off. Or Pop or Cappy would have said, like, but you mustn't. You're in the middle of a game. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And there we go. That tough break. Yeah, that's a really tough break. Oh man, we got so far, so close. And yet. Yeah, let's go! Oh no. We gotta make it for last time. At this point, I'd be happy with... Oh dear. At this point, I would be happy with anything but last. Oh no. The shocking vibrations. Oh no. Get out of my way, Pokios. I gotta admit, those things are pretty cute. But... So long, Gold Koopa Saka! Yeah! Roll. Roll. Roll, go Mario! Don't get dizzy! You can do it! I know you can! Yeah! Gonna lose my lunch! Or not. Here we go. Uh, shake the Joy-Cons! Yeah. Roll. 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 I wonder just how long one can roll. Maybe I'll make that in a video. How long can Mario roll? And I'll set a timer or something. And then just see just how long I can roll. That was a very, I, I must say, that was a very close call. I was very worried there for a second. Here we go. This is the point at which we died. And there's the Stairface Ogre. He does not like me. Oh no! Not again! No! Oh. Okay. Well, that's, that's fun. I think the, uh, seeing those torches, that reminds me of something. I think they go in time with the music. But, I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining things. Uh, yeah. We got this. Let's go. Just a little bit to the right. Yeah, we made it. Oh no, that Pokeo again. Bowser's Kingdom in this game struck me as very interesting because it's most, like, in the more recent games, they've or at least in 3D world, they themed it after the western part of the world, but then here they like went back to like Japan or something, which I thought was pretty good, or pretty cool, because, um, I don't know, maybe, that's just me, my, uh, I am like half Asian, so that's like the Asian half of me coming out, I suppose. Uh, yeah, we did it. Oh yeah. Oh no. Crouches. They have stuck me. Can't even see what's going on when you do that. This is so fun to do that. Honestly, just like shake it like there's no tomorrow. Tomorrow. Shake it like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, we made it. Yeah, we did it. We got past it. One more. Come on. Uh, last, last platform. We can do it. Yeah. Now, I have to ask, ask myself, how in the world did I end up with a minute and a half? Because it's a minute and a half now, so I must have, like, skipped a whole section or something. Maybe there's, like, a secret somewhere that I missed. I swear if a Koopa comes out of nowhere and takes the lead right now. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, no. Yeah! Just beat that Koopa. Yeah! First place. Booyah! We did it. Okay. Now, we're just uh, going to go to... Check out that speed. Yeah, well, you got speed. Speed. I am speed. How many coins did he give me? That was a lot. Um, I gotta admit, it's not as disorienting once you get used to it, which is kind of disappointing. But, I mean... Hey, well, it works. Uh, I guess it works. So, now we're going... To the final world. That's right. We are going to the Snow Kingdom. You 
guys can probably guess where I'm going with this. Um, haha, get it? Because we're going somewhere. I am a hilarious. Alright, uh, okay. Let's do this. We're in Shiveria. One thing for me that's always big on a game, big in a game, is music, which is one reason why I love Paper Mario the Origami King so much, because the music, like, people have said it, and I will say it again, the music in that game is over the top amazing. Um, now we're having a little difficulty climbing the wall. Yeah, we're gonna go break our spine at the bottom of the pit! Yeah! Ugh. No wonder Mario's so fat. When he lands like that, all the... Maybe all the fat in his body shoots down to his stomach. And we, here we go. I'm amazed that after 35 years of this, Mario is still not any slimmer. Now we hit the ground rolling. 35 years of running, spinning, jumping, sliding, all that good stuff. He's still very fat. Well, I wouldn't say very fat. Wario is very fat, but I'm surprised that uh, Smash really didn't help him drop a few pounds. Welcome racing fans to the Bound Bowl Grand Prix on Snowlight Circuit Class S. Here we are, here's our supersonic snowman amid seven other racers, and the race is starting in three seconds. Two seconds. One second. And they're off! I gotta tell you, that supersonic snowman does look a little disoriented today. Maybe he's been bouncing up the wrong hill. Maybe he must have gotten up on the wrong side of the snowbed. Am I right? And he's rounding the next corner. Left turn, left turn. Oh yeah, man, you got it. Oh, he's in the snow. He's in the snow. And they're bouncing. They're bouncing. And they're bouncing! I bet you didn't see that coming, folks. And he's rounding the next corner. He's on the second lap. He's rounding the next corner. Oh no, he's in fifth place. He's been surpassed by four of the other racers. Four, count him. And now he's passing one of them, and now he's passing him, and now they're bouncing all over the snow-filled area, and nobody likes this area, do they, folks? No, they don't. And now they're, they're in fifth, and now he's in fifth still. He's bouncing the corner. Oh, he may have a chance to overtake into fourth. He's in fourth. He's in fourth, but not for long. The other guy has surpassed him into fifth place. I gotta tell you, I wish I was a better news reporter, but I do not know any of these people's names. I don't even know this guy's name. Everybody just calls him the Supersonic Snowman. I don't think they even bother to name him. That's just how bad... That's just how... I don't even have a, a proper description, folks. Yep. And he's rounding the next corner. He's on the third lap. Here we go. He's almost there. Fourth place. Can he do it? Can he take fourth place? He is super disoriented, and he has taken fourth place! Good job, kid. Don't look sad. You've done better, but there's not- But I seriously doubt you could do better when you're this disoriented. Alright. Let's get- Let's get moving. We have one more place to go, and we're gonna take the warp flag to get there. We're gonna be doing on the- I believe it was called the Iceburn Circuit. This is going to be fun. Because the Iceburn Circuit is way, way longer than the uh, Snowline one. And we're actually going to do this race a few times just to uh, see if we can't get a third or better. Only the top racers are here. I feel... I, I gotta admit, I feel kind of sorry for this guy. Uh, he's just so scared of like everything. Uh, my brother has called me the most sentimental Minecraft player he knows, actually, because, um, I- it's crazy for me to spare iron golems, apparently, uh, in villages. Um, my argument is that it's the villagers' only defense, and it is, so. Yeah, welcome, my fans, so this is to the Iceburn Circuit. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go! And they're off! The Supersonic Snowman is in third, with the blue and green challengers ahead of him, and the pink challenger is looking to overtake him, and now he's in third, now he's in th second, now he's in third again! They're rounding the first corner, and the other guy goes flying! Oh my goodness, that was amazing, folks. I tell you, I have never seen a bounce like that before from the other guy. He seems to have been assisted a little, just by the supersonic snowman. And they're bouncing. They're bouncing! They're bouncing! Yeah, let's give it, give him a hand, folks. You know, not, not many people besides the Shivarians can handle this sort of f fierce bouncing, but... I hear the technique is you just simply need to extend your arms as you go, and there's no chance of you breaking them whatsoever. And there we go, we're on the second lap. We are 46 seconds into the race. And the Supersonic Snowman has taken a, a turn for the worse. He's now in fifth place, but he's close behind the fourth place racer, and he's just passed him into fourth. Now he's closing in on the third racer. Although perhaps 
he may not be able to, to steal the lead. We may see another fourth place victory, uh, an, uh, another fourth, fourth place position for this supersonic snowman. He really doesn't seem to have it today. And he's bouncing. He's bouncing. He's bouncing. And the crowd is going wild. Just listen to that crowd go, folks. To that crowd cheer, folks. And he's bouncing. Oh, he's entirely skipping this in this pot. And he's really picking up speed now. And oh, the third, the third and second places seem to be ramming into each other. And oh no, he's taking a spill into the snow. Can he recover for this last time? Yes, he can. He's already right behind them. Let's see if he can pull another ramming technique. Is that even allowed? I don't. I don't know. I don't read the rules. I'm just here to commentate, folks. And he's made it into third place! And let's see if he can snatch into second or possibly even first. Do we dare hope for first? Yes, we do! Because we hope for the impossible. And he's in third. Oh no, he has not made it, but he has made it into third place! Let's go, kid! You were amazing out there. And that was... I gotta admit, that, that went a lot better than I expected. I honestly didn't expect to get... Uh... Third place. I expected to get, uh, something... Oh, here's your participation prize. We have no more prizes. I'm sorry. I honestly expected to get, uh, we're, uh, like, fifth or lower, honestly, based on how disorienting this is. And I'm not even shaking it anymore. I'm just timing my hits. Maybe I should shake it. Nah! And they're off! Let's go one more time, folks. Apparently, this is gonna be the last race of the day. And the Supersonic Snowman is taking a turn for the worse. He's gotten a bad start. He's in fifth place. And here come, and he's bouncing. And he's bouncing. He's really not looking good tight today, folks. Uh, a fourth place, a third place. Maybe he can pull off a second, or maybe even surprise us all and take us and take a third. Oh, he is totally cutting across the snow. That didn't really seem to work too well for him. In fact, he seems to have fallen back even more than he would have if he stayed on the track. Well, and now he's coming up at the big turn. Here we go, folks. I'm just gonna say, don't attempt bound bolting at home. I tried it once. It was not pretty. It was, all I'm gonna say is, the snow everywhere was red. I, there, was an, there was an ice cream vendor, he spilled his strawberry syrup, it was not pretty folks. And we're in the second lap, and things are not looking bright for this supersonic snowman. He is not doing very well. He is not using his normal astounding technique that these super chubby, pudgy, fat Shavarians usually use, but he is doing... I got nothing, folks. I'm sorry. He's doing pretty bad. I don't know why we do, why the camera's only following him and we're not following the other the first place contestant. But hey, I'm not complaining to the Lakita who's steering the camera. He's bouncing. He's bouncing, and there he goes. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. He's on the third lap, and he bounces. He makes the corner, and he's coming up on the funny bouncy part that nobody knows the name of. And oh, he's looking. It looks like he's trying another snow cut. And and. He has shaved, it, it appears as though he has shaved off just a little bit of time. And at this point, we expect the first the first place racers to be advancing onto the finish line. Oh, he has made it into fourth place. Perhaps he can make it just a little bit further, kid. Come on, you can do it. We're all behind you. And he, no, he's been overtaken at the last second and takes fifth place. Oh, the talk about a disappointment, folks. All right. Thank you for watching the Bon Bull Grand Prix. We will see you tomorrow. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm getting something from the... What is that? One more race. Folks, we have one more race coming up today for you. All right. What a surprise. It's always thrilling to see the Iceburn Circuit Class S Bound Bold Grand Prix. Here we go. Hopes are high for the Supersonic Snowman in this final race. Three, two, one. Go! And here the racers go. They're running down the track. They're bouncing down the track. They're doing they're doing whatever they can to get off the ground, folks. They're bouncing. They're bouncing. Oh, and the supersonic snowman is Oh, he's he appears to be right in the middle of the crowd, and he Oh, he has made it into third place. That is such a shocker, folks. Considering how poorly he performed, he seems to have fallen behind a fourth. But I have no doubt that this kid can make it up and make it into third place, if not second, and possibly first. This kid, he can do it. I know he can. Come on, folks. We all believe in him, don't we? Or do you have your own fans? Or your own heroes, or whatever. He has made it into third place, and the other guy has passed him. On to the second lap, folks. Here we go. Oh, no. He's taking a spill into the snow. On the curvy part that nobody knows the name of. And he... 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 Takes a bit, another spill into the snow, and he has fallen into fifth place. This is not looking good for him, folks. Let's just bounce. Bounce. 
Bounce, say it with me, folks. Bounce, bounce, bounce. No, nobody, no, okay. And he is bouncing down the track. He's entering the tunnel. We can still have a live feed of our favorite supersonic snowman. And he is rolling. He's bouncing. He is doing superb. Look at the height of that bounce. I tell you, no one in the world could bounce higher than this kid. No one. And he has passed into fourth place right at the... F right on the final lap. And oh no, he goes in the complete opposite direction that he was intending. At least I think he was intending to go in that direction. He wasn't intending to go in that direction. I could be wrong. Hey, what do I know? Maybe this is like some sort of surge to give the crowd a kill a boost before he takes first place. But it's not looking likely because we he is still rolling through the snow. And we and his record is closing in. Five seconds to till his record, and there's no way he can clear this entire course in five seconds. And he's bouncing. He's bouncing through the tunnel. And he's running. He's bowling. He's bound bowling. And he's making the final curve. Folks, things are not looking good. For the, for the supersonic snowman today. It's an absolute catastrophe for the supersonic snowman today, folks. And thank you for watching the Bound Bull Grand Prix. We will see you next time. Well, I have no idea who that guy was. That was uh, very interesting. But, um, yeah. That's all I got for today. Thank you guys for th so much for watching my uh, very first gaming video. I hope you enjoyed watching it, and I hope you had as good of a time watching it as I had uh, playing it, and um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Um, um, on this video, I will, I can guarantee you that I will be doing more of these gaming videos soon, particularly the Switch Into Challenge, um, and yeah, that's that's it. Thanks for watching, folks. Well, see you next time.